This short video will show you how to search the library's catalogue. You can find a range of resources across all disciplines, including books, ebooks, journal articles, newspapers, video or sound recordings, and theses. I'm going to show you a simple topic search to begin with using the search bar on the library homepage, and then I will show you the more advanced search option. I'm going to begin with the phrase social work in double quotation marks. I am using double quotation marks around these two words because it is a phrase and I want those words to be searched in that particular order. I'm then using the linking word and for my second keyword law and I'm going to hit search. You can see that this search retrieved a large number of results. We can filter these results using the options on the left hand side. You can see that we can filter by availability, creation date, which is when it was published, resource type, and more. I'm going to choose to filter my results by books. Now I am viewing only books relevant to this topic. If I wanted to view only ebooks, I would simply click on available online. You can see the search filters begin to build at the top of the filters list. If you would like to access the full text of an ebook, all you have to do is click on the available online link. This will open a new page. You can also click on the title to see more information. Underneath view online and full text availability, you will see a second link, which will take you to the download page for that particular book. Sometimes there will be more than one link here, showing you all the different places that the full text of this book can be found. Once you click on that link, you'll be able to download the PDF of the book, download specific chapters of the book, or simply read the book online. I'm going to show you the advanced search option now. The advanced search gives us more than one bar to enter our keywords. I'm going to try some new keywords now. I'm putting in the word nurse without the E and using an asterisk or truncation to catch the different endings of that particular word. So this will now search for nurse, nurses, nursing, and so on. For my second line, I'm going to put in the keywords for communication. Again, I'm using truncation and my phrases into quotation marks where needed. I'm going to add a new line now because I have more keywords to put in for my topic. A new line again. And another line with my last set of keywords. On the last line, I'm going to change the particular field. I'm changing it to not because I do not want any of my results to contain the word doctor or physician as my topic only focuses on nurses. I've linked my other keywords with the operator and. On the right under material type, you can also select the type of resource that you want to look at. I'm going to choose articles. I'm not going to put in a date range or choose a language, but you can if you want to. I'm going to click search. Now I'm only viewing journal articles relevant to my topic. On the left, I can also choose to filter my results. I'm going to choose to view only peer reviewed journals to make sure that my articles are credible and good to use for my assignments. I have also decided that I want to limit the date range. To do this, I can select creation date. I'm going to choose within the last three years and click refine. Once you find an article that you would like to look at, you have two options. You can choose to download the PDF. This link will usually take you straight to the article where you will have the option to download the PDF or read it online. You can also click the available online link. This will take you to a page where you can see a list of places that have your article available. Follow these links to find your different options to read or download your article. This concludes our short video on searching the library catalogue.